and as you can see now I am doing my bumper okay so I also got this turbo sticker show you where I got this right now booyaka shaka I got two of them for eleven dollars I'm not getting paid by this company but it's a pretty nice logo pretty solid you know uh, not flimsy and it sticks it's been about a year and it's still holding on but it's nice it doesn't rust or crack or anything so it's good and it keeps holding on after car washes and 30 below winter it's still holding on but what I'm doing is I'm working on this little strip line and I'm using this touch-up marker that I got at an auto store, okay? You can get one of these at a Walmart too. They work pretty nice. You can take this cap off basically and it's easy. You don't even have to put tape around it. You just kind of go real quick, gently in a smooth line and you got this beautiful red trim on your um, bumper. So it looks pretty nice. And I got one in front too. I'll show you in a second. So before before you run out there and buy one of these, you, you one, remember, let it dry. Don't just ride out and start driving around and start touching it and stuff. Give it a few hours, even a day to dry. Alright? Two, I got this one at Napa, and this is a lot brighter. The paint. I like this paint a lot. This is nicer paint, basically. This paint, darker, especially if you have a dark car, you really don't want this. And plus it has this thin, I don't even know, it has a film on it. Like after four or five coats, it didn't really sit well. Get in trouble for doing this, but kind of goes slow, but not too slow. As you can see, this is a lot nicer. This Napa one is a lot nicer than this Walmart one, which is not even working. I'm gonna get in trouble, my wife's gonna kill me. Plus, you can also take this cap off, and it's got it's got that little brush. So, yeah. I don't know. I hope this makes sense. I shouldn't have done that. That's stupid. But for you people, I do all this. Um, I was making a video, and my neighbor came out, and she's like, Sir, are you okay? And I'm like, um, physically, yeah. Mentally, no. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, it's just a plain old BMW here. Nothing special. So what I'm doing is I'm going to kind of paint the grill here. I don't know if you can see it. Here's a better angle here. I want to paint this red just to kind of make this bumper stand out a little bit, okay? Because it just looks average, you know? And nobody likes average. It's a nice, nice bumper, but you really can't see this part here. So I'm gonna try to do this, and then possibly maybe do something around here, like here. But you see, as you can see, what I did is I put tape there. So I got this. I got this real cheap paint at um at, at a Walmart. I got this, uh, you know, a touch-up paint, basically red. And it's not too bright. I don't want it too bright, but I want it to stand out a little. So, um, we'll see how it goes. If you don't want to spend your money on this, just get your mom's or your girlfriend's or your wife's, uh, you know, fingernail paint. That works good too. That'll stay on there for a while. All right, so this is uh, one coat here. As you can see, it's probably going to take about three or four coats but first coat so far so good all righty coat number two so now it's got two coats on looks okay we're getting there take your time because as you can see i spilled some and uh you don't really want to do that but it looks kind of cool i like this i like it yeah because you know let me look at it this will look nice I got my LED lights in there. See that? 
So I'm gonna do about three or four coats just just to keep it make sure it stays on there looks good There's no fading spots as you can see there are a few fading spots and it's kind of shiny I like this paint it makes it look kind of shiny. I like this paint too. Cool So it doesn't look too bad coat number three done You want to make sure you do a good job not like me. I was rushing and I got it all over everything so just Make sure you do a good job. You want to make it look professional. Do a professional job. And it makes your bumper stick out, stand out. You know what I mean? Look at that. Clearly see that color. Awesome. So remember, paint. Let the paint dry. Wait about four or five hours and let the paint dry. And uh, make sure to stay away from dust. Because you don't want to get that thing dirty. Okay, so this is how it looks. This is the final result. Looks amazing. Looks good, right?